What's up, everyone? So today, um, everybody's talking about ChatGPT. I said, why not me too? So I looked up ChatGPT in Zapier and I just wanted to test it. So I went ahead and got the API key approved and I'm here to show you how it works. So with that, let's get started. All right, so for this, uh, you will need an API key. Um, I have created an account with uh, OpenAI, and uh, as you can see, you're, it takes a while to get your account approved. I'm not sure. Uh, mine took about two weeks. I think if they if you yours gets earlier than that, um, I don't know. But uh, in this one, we're just using the code completion. Uh, actually, not code completion, text completion, and we are going to use our um, client. It's Insomnia. So. I was testing this before, um, so I just said, find me planet Mars, and that's what I was uh, going with. So let me show you exactly how it, it works. So first thing is you have to have an account with an API approved key. Uh, then you have to go into your apps. Uh, and as you can see, all my apps are here. Uh, there's one, I think, which is chat GPT. So I think it's this one. Let's see. Not this one. So yeah, open AI. So what you're going to do is just, you're going to say add connection and then uh, click open AI. And then you'll see open AI chat GPT uh, option here. So once you select that, it's going to ask you for uh, uh, API key that you have to put in. Once you add that API key, now you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and create a connection with a uh, new Zap. So, and the Zap we're going to work with is webhooks. So I'm going to say webhooks. Once we have webhooks ready, we're just going to catch the hook and I'm gonna create a new webhook. It's gonna listen on this hook uh, when uh, something comes in. So I'm just gonna copy this hook and bring my client here. And now uh, let's work with this. So we're gonna ask some funny questions here. So let's say, how tall is New York City building? Uh, let's see, Times Square building, Times Square building. All right, uh, how tall is Times Square building? Let's just do that. And then we'll go ahead and send that to uh, that uh, address, the hook that we just created. So it's uh, successful. Now let's look at our browser and test trigger. Once we receive that value, that message that we sent in, uh, we can continue and then go back to chat GPT. There you go. Uh, chat GPT. Actually, it's under open AI. So let me try to find it. Give it a second, open AI. And now that we have this, uh, what we can do is basically um, create, uh, we can check moderation for the message that's coming in. We can generate image or send a prompt or search embeddings. You can do a lot of stuff with this. Uh, I haven't tested all of it, but I've uh, tested send prompt. So what it does is basically takes your input. So let's see, open AI. Uh, let me see, it's taking some time here. All right, continue. And you have an option to use um, their um, the response uh, bot, you can say. So DaVinci is the newest one. You can uh, have the Curie or Ada. These are old models that they were using. The DaVinci one is the newest one that they're using to get everything. And in the prompt, you just add your message to whatever question you're asking. Um, also, there's a temperature required. Higher values mean the model will take more risk. And then the maximum number of tokens uh, to generate the completion. And then you'll have the sequence and all the other stuff here. You can research about uh, this in their documentation. Uh, you'll get an idea what uh, this is doing. But that's what I was testing. If I do test action now, so it's going to take that prompt uh, question and return an answer from it. So you see the Times Square building. And then you can show this to your user or take this to wherever you want. Um, so this is how a chat GPT works. If you have any workflows similar to that, I'd be happy to take a look and, and build one. Um, but uh, this is not a fully chat GPT, um, a chat GPT solution, but it's similar to what they're doing on their front end uh, with um, everything. I think it's an advanced way of searching things uh, through chat GPT um, AI model. But um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video. I just did a one go for this and uh, I hope you enjoy. Hit that like button, subscribe uh, to the channel and uh, share with your friends and family.